Hello, hello! If you would like to join me for my very own Inktober, then stay tuned! this Inktober because it seems like all of my customs that I had placed many months ago all came in at the same time and it all happens to be October. Let's just get into it. We will actually go to the fun stuff after. I figured I would talk about some inks and some accessories. So this is a rickshaw um, pen roll and I had this one custom made. He has um, or they have a custom made section where you can like really pick exactly what you want. So I picked this fabric and it's kind of like a plum purple which I love and then on the inside, oh big surprise, <laughs> <laughs> there's like a purple plush and it has enough room for six long pens so that is perfect for me you can also put a short pen in there this is a Kaweco and um you or Kaweco or however you say it I always say it wrong um you can kind of see that when it is in there's still quite a bit of space so basically I just kind of push it, I keep my fingers there and I push it until it meets my fingers and then I know that it's protected and that's good enough for me. Also got the two pen sleeve and I got this one because I bring a little pouch with me to church and I always bring two fountain pens in case when I'm in the middle of writing I haven't paid attention to the ink level on my pen and I run out I have a backup pen. Um, as you can see this one also will fit the opus. Um, it is like I said it goes all the way to the top but that's okay I don't mind at all they did send me this freebie and I'm super excited about that and of course even more excited that look at the colors that they picked <laughs> so um and this is just a single pen sleeve here and I will show you with the opus you can see it fits all the way to the top so you can see like it's so soft and squishy like it makes you want to just climb in there yourself <laughs> and take a nap because it is just it's so soft and I have a number of like pen rolls but these really are just my absolute favorite then I finally broke down and bought some ink bottles. So if you've been following my channel, you know that for me, I really enjoy all the inks, but I know it's not um, feasible for me to own all the ink bottles. <laughs> so I decided to just get a handful. I'm not gonna go crazy with ink bottles. It is definitely a majorly, very slippery slope when it comes to ink. I'm just not like a super fan of swatching out inks in my videos. Um, I mean, some people enjoy doing that. I'm just not very good at doing things and talking, so I don't do it. So basically, um, let me get to this first color. So this first color is called Rainy Day, and it is a color verse. And this is, let me get this Ollie clip off of here. So this is rainy day. And so it definitely has both of those like blues and teal properties. 
and it's very wet, which I really like for my fountain pens because I don't have to worry about it gumming things up. So basically what I did on my swatches is I just wrote the name of it. I did a big swatch. I did this kind of scribble and these scribbles. If it was wet, I wrote that it was wet. And if I own it in a bottle, I wrote a B just so that I knew exactly what I had for bottles versus um, what I'm using for just the samples called Rainy Day from Colorverse. So that was the first ink bottle purchase. Then I got a couple of the colors that I did have in samples and adored and this is one of them. And so this is the Sailor I don't know how to say it, Kayaku. And I love this color, y'all. So it does not look like this when you first lay it down. It really, it dries like this color, but when you look at the bottle, it's very green looking. If I can, it's hard to see it, <laughs> but it's very, like it looks like it's gonna be green, but then it comes out this absolutely beautiful kind of like gray and and like teal green and, and like a lavender, just really, really enjoyed this sample. It is a very wet writing ink and um, for my pens so far, it's been a big hit. So I definitely decided to get one of these in a bottle because I just really, really enjoy that color. My next favorite one that I super enjoyed in a sample and ran out of and decided to get a bottle of is the Sailor Shikiori. And this is the Yozakura. And y'all know me, I'm terrible at saying these names right. So I'm sorry, but that's just gonna be the way it is. <laughs> Someone else can say it appropriately. I will show you the words, and if you like the color, you can buy it. <laughs> so how's that? So this is another really wet writing ink that I super enjoy. It's kind of like a, a mauve type color. It does go down a little bit lighter than it dries but you can kind of see some of the variation um, in that ink, Sailor Shikiori Yozakura. There are some new ones that were recommended and so I thought I would give them a try and you will see why after um, that I have these. But so these are my first um, Ferris wheel press and this particular one is called Blushing Mushroom. In the background, it has more of like the orangey kind of tones. And so that is Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom. And it's a pretty average ink, in my opinion. I didn't find that it was overly wet. Um, but it comes in this cute little bottle and you can see the shimmer there. Okay, next, and these ones are fun. I'll do this one next. So this one is again, um, Ferris Wheel Press. This is a fairly new one and it's called Glimmering Grage. And y'all, mm-mm-mm. So it's like a gray and it has these gold shimmers to it. So there's the gold shimmer and, um, and you know, obviously the color looks like really dark there, but check this out. Look at that glimmering grayish. Absolutely love that gold sparkle. It is a little difficult to see, but um, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. But My last one, last bottle anyway. I did get some um, some different, uh, 
swatch samples, I guess samples, um, but I'm just showing you guys the bottles. So this again is the Ferris Wheel Press, and I don't know how to say it, Chidori or Chidori Cherry Blossom. And again, you can see those like goldish shimmers in there. And this is it swatched out. And so like right here is like the gold shimmery sheen kind of color, which it's a bit difficult to pick up. But that is the color that comes across. You're going to... I'll actually just talk about this one. And so this is the pen that I got with my Ferris wheel press order. And this is, it's definitely a gray. I want to say they called it like clay or something like that. And it looked very like sort of grayish on the website and it had like different color tones to it and then I got it and the reality is it's just straight up gray. It's not, there's no, the definitely online, the website coloration was very deceiving. Um, I'm totally fine with it. Like I'm, I'm all about grays and beiges and all that right now, but just in case if, if any of y'all see this color and you're interested just know it is straight up gray there's nothing clay or any of that about it <laughs> so um I need to actually look up the pen color again I can't quite remember I will link it in the description below or put it across right here how about that I'll put it right here on the screen so yes it's pretty I have not inked it yet um, the nib was a little scratchy. I already tuned it. And, um, so I can just like dip my pens and check it. And if the nib is scratchy or what have you, I can sort of self tune it a little bit. And so I think it will go, this is like a good stick it in your planner kind of fountain pen, in my opinion, as long as when I'm using it, it's not like leaky, but um, yeah, so I like it. So that is the Ferris wheel press one. And they actually call it a brush pen in case you're curious. Okay next all right so all of the rest of the pens that i'm going to show you are bespoke pens and what that means is they come um they have blanks like this and they turn them on a lathe and they turn them into beautifulness like this <laughs> and so this particular pen is from rob's pen works you can find him on instagram i will link him below in the description this is a butterfly glitter pen y'all I mean y'all know I love purple and you know because of my thyroid disease butterflies are like my symbol and so when I saw this it was an absolute yes had to had to have it and it is beautiful that's a little bit better the sun kind of keeps going coming in and out behind the clouds so it was just blowing out the picture and making it really hard to see this pretty pen. So yeah, so that is that one. And I got la this little candy nougat and this is from Little Pen Works and you can find him on Instagram and I will also link him below. But oh my goodness, you guys, I absolutely love this pen. It is so stinking cute. So it just reminds me of like fruitcake, candies, like all the things when I was a kid. So I love it. I think it's just the cutest, cutest pen. It has really good weight and I just really appreciate um, when a maker just not only makes a pen that's appealing, but just, I don't know, it just feels really good in my hand. And I just really 
Super love that. And it does have the purple section on the bottom. And again, I went with a broad nib trying to decide. So this one I'll show briefly. Uh, there is a unboxing video of this one where I talk about it more, but this is my very first Yurushi um, Raiden pen. And this one is from Tominori Studio. And this is a white Yurushi, which is pretty rare because the Yurushi itself is sort of like an amber color. And for them to get a pen that's kind of considered white, which I know it's like a beige color, um, it is difficult. So this is super, super beautiful, super, super cool. Then I got my hybrid and this is a spark i want to say he calls it sparkle cloud i'm not 100 percent sure but um this one came from um charlie harvey over at wood wood wonders of north carolina and i also asked for a purple section la but I love the shape of this, you guys. So this is the first time I've had him do this shape for me. He's made multiple pens for me. But isn't that so cool? It like tapers out on both ends. That's so unique and I don't have anything like that. And that is why I was super excited um, to have this particular one made like that. And especially with like the, the wood burl on the ends, I thought it would be just like really cool for each end to have it. And so then Charlie also did this one for me. And again, so this one has literally been in the works for months because this blank had to come from China, I believe, um, from Operex Opal. And he they make some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous opal colors. And um, this is the Sakura color, in case you're curious. So... It has just so many beautiful shimmers to it. And um, I adore, adore, adore this pen. It is so beautiful, you guys. And finally, da -da 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 -da, I got my tailored pens. And I just wanted to show you guys, this is so cool when a maker does something like this. So they actually send individual pen sleeves for you to be able to put your pens into and I love that that to me is a touch that is like worth it I would so much rather get a pen sleeve than I don't know any of the things like you know some pen places send candy some you know I do like getting a sticker I will say that but um but I just I really appreciate when they go that extra mile and they put a pen sleeve in there so just saying that wanted to kind of give a shout out to them for that so let's talk about how did this come about because these are I mean, they're customs, but these are also custom colors. So if you are interested in getting a custom color, and again, my lighting is going wonky. Just wanna, there we go. I wanna brighten it up so you can see these colors a little bit better. So what I did was I literally took snapshots of the colors that I wanted and I sent it to Tailored Pen Company and said, can you make me a pen in this color and this shape? And they were like, yes, absolutely. And so one of the things that I also asked for for these two pens was I wanted them to have sparkle in them. So if you can see this there we go as i turn it you can see the sparkle and this one is a little more subtle because they made them both and then the blank on this 
pink one failed and so they needed to remake it and so when she was remaking it I said can you just add a little bit more sparkle and she said absolutely and so here is the second pen in the dusty pink with more sparkle in it and uh so these ones are just so so pretty and literally you can contact tailored pen company just give them any color under the sun and they will make a blank and they show it to you so they make the blank they send you a video of it to get your approval and then when you give them your approval approval then they go ahead and turn the pen for you and i love 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 how their designs like they're so sleek that you can hardly even tell where the opening is. But this particular one I got, um, I did get a pen clip and I got it in a gold plated nib and you can see that they have their little engraving. That is it. That is what I wanted to show you guys. It was a long video to just kind of show you all of the pens. Thank you guys for watching and I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!